the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so in the last lecture we saw about the blockchain fork what is a soft fork hard fork backward compatible um, and you know how the mining is done the nouns and how the algorithm on the powerful hardware and the algorithm is there right so in this lecture what we will be seeing is what are all the different kinds of consensus the technologies used in the blockchain okay there are many different consensus like the proof of work proof of stake proof of elapsed time proof of capacity proof of activity and stuff of that nature uh, so the bitcoin is being done by the proof of work and right now as of today which is september 15th ethereum has actually moved to proof of stake so in this lecture we'll be seeing all those technologies more in detail and the differences between them as well okay i'm really really excited let's take a deep dive friends in today's lecture we are going to be seeing the following agenda so before going into today's lecture in the last lecture what we saw was how the technology in the blockchain you know what kind of consensus methods were actually used with the, the proof of work remember that i told you uh, say suppose like you know uh, i gave you an example of like you know uh, the traffic is very bad the traffic violation is really bad in a particular area and the government actually comes up with an idea telling that to the people just catch the violators with a with a picture and then send it to me anonymous just upload and we will give you a prize money so guess what is going to happen within a month or two the traffic you know is going to be eased in that place <laughs> so in in a similar manner we have like you know a person actually getting rewarded uh, and that is what the proof of work is okay so in today's lecture what we'll be seeing is what is a blockchain fork what are all the different kinds of consensus this will not be one lecture it'll be like series of lectures what is the proof of work that we actually saw what is the proof of stake uh, the proof of stake is actually coming up and you know like always you know way to contact so what is a blockchain fork like every software code which actually goes over some development some upgrade even upgrades are made to the protocols and they can be managed so everything has a version number and this is what is called the fork the new blocks which has been created using the new protocol will be using a different version number if the upgrade is backward compatible that is say i have version 1 and version 2 and the version 2 is compatible with the version 1 because that is how it should be now say suppose we release a web page and then like you know they actually upgrade it when we actually release a new version we have to make sure like the previous version is compatible with the buttons with the look and feel and and everything okay so then only it will be like less efforts and it is a good code so likewise if it is actually backward compatible that is the version 2 is actually incompatible with the version 1 it's called soft fork if it is not compatible then it is called hard fork like why are being hard like you know that hard fork the hard fork like always it's very hard and we actually try to avoid them now the types of consensus there are a lot of types of consensus okay this is a blockchain technology so we already discussed about the proof of work so let's actually see what all is there we have a proof of work where the big coins like bitcoin and ethereum which is called the bitcoin killer and there is another one called cardano which is called the ethereum killer so i'm just telling the top 3 okay uh, so the proof of work is been used by the bitcoin and the ethereum so what is the disadvantage of the proof of work it is very expensive it is not ecological why it is expensive because i told you how many computers it needs how the node propagates the different networks the nouns the different computation method me, me, in a mechanism and who wins you know i told you in the last lecture so it is very expensive and even the bitcoin actually actually takes more energy than the entire ireland put together so is it even sustainable when we actually say going green so the proof of stake is the next methodology or the technology trying they are actually trying to use and the proof of stake is being done by ethereum ethereum is actually trying it uh, you know this is lot more going green kind of a thing it is lot more cheaper and we will be discussing about the same 
And then there is a next gen which is called the practical Byzantine fault tolerance. We already talked about it. And there are some coins, Definity, Algorand, it actually comes under that. So always in Bitcoin or in blockchain, you need a large number of participants where each block, there is a block of transactions. It randomly selects a small group of people in a safe and a fair manner. So that like, you know, now say suppose I am there and I have my set of friends. It is not necessary that we are going to be selected. Okay, because if we are selected, then it becomes like, you know, lobbying, right? So that is not going to happen. And to protect from the attackers, the identities of every person is actually hidden until the block is confirmed. Because if I know like, you know, somebody in this country whom I know is there, I can bribe him, him or her. So that is why it is all like only a hash code. No one knows what is what will they actually enter in. The size of the group remains constant as the network grows. So this is also an important point. Okay. So the proof of work, we already talked about in the previous lecture. When the block is full, each node competes to solve by guessing. The problem requires computational resources, that nouns that we said, and the 32 power that we actually talked. So the miners try to guess the nouns, and everything has been done in a sequential manner. If the result matches the current level of difficulty, the miner has guessed the right answer. The miner with the answer shares with all other miners, and the miner will actually confirm whether the answer is right or no. And any person who gets more than 51 percent above is being declared, you know, has been added. So it is the height, the height of confirmation. So last lecture we saw that you need at least five confirmations, six confirmations to say like this is valid. And this is the proof of work consensus. <clears throat> okay. So this is what we actually talked and this is the technology behind it. <laughs> now there is an alternative they actually proposing to the proof of work, which is called the proof of stake. And this is basically to actually address the scalability concerns and going green, the electricity consumption. This removes a guessing game, okay, so which is extremely good. And the miners no longer need to require like some specialized or powerful hardware, okay, so that like as I said, like, you know, the computation, the node, the prop, the how it actually propagates and everything. So they don't need this, uh, you know, so in that manner, it is like extremely good. So this is blockchain is all about decentralization. So the less energy is in the form of intensive consensus. And as I told you, it also goes towards the green. This is exactly what I told you. I trust I gave you some crisp but interesting information. If you have any questions, kindly contact me and, you know, I will be, you know, I'll, I'll try to answer to the best of my abilities. Till we see next time, take care. Cheers. Namaste friends, I trust you have actually seen my lecture, probably you know you have actually understood what a proof of work is and how the reward has been made, uh, you know, and what is the power consumption and what is a proof of stake and stuff of that nature. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know whom to contact. Like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me your golden time. The other is my wife Jayashree for allowing me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time, uh, you know, take care. Cheers. This is